here for more than 30 years in Colombia. I'm a Colombian citizen. Um, I've worked as a, a journalist lately, as a translator, but basically I'm a writer. The book is called Ayahuasca Weaving Destinies. Is that ayahuasca uh, affects the destinies of the people who drink it, and not only from, from, from the time they drink it onwards, that it gives them good luck or good vibes, but they're backwards, it kind of draws them in. The conceit of the book is that ayahuasca, which is called yahe here, is, uh, works on people's destinies, not only forward from the time they drink it, but backwards. It kind of draws them in. It's a vegetal preparation with very strong physical purgative properties. And it also opens up your perception to other realities. You can see uh, spirits, you can see past lives, you can see your future, or so it is said. In other words, it has a, a very uh, marked physical side. Desperately wanting to do Yehe, but too shy to ask, and maddened by the hints of Franciscano, the jesting philosopher, who especially when drunk with fire water, would boast of his visionary powers without revealing too much about them. It's multidimensional. It has a personal element, which is I meet Valorio. We come to Colombia, we break up. After we break up, she drinks ayahuasca to an ex-student of hers by an accident. I go down to the community. I then get involved with a project to found a botanical garden started by the anthropologist. He, uh, later on, an old friend from our Irish hippie circle, a woman comes here as like a tourist to see the tropics, to try yeah, hey, as many people do. And she falls in love with the uh, anthropologist. They form a couple. And in the end, she comes back and falls in love with the Titus apprentice. And she takes him off to Ireland. That's the end. And in the meantime, the project for the botanical garden gets involved in all sorts of international power politics, academic, even US Congress gets involved in this. There's another element, which is a bit fantastic, which is a shamanic element, because ayahuasca is in Colombia, the mindset is full of witchcraft and full of dark forces. And the, the idea is that another shaman, who's a colleague of this guy, does a curse, and this is the way the curse works, is through these, inter the, through these personal relationships, but the effect is really to break up the project of the botanical garden, because some of the indigenous people here are very, very reserved about any kind of white interference or influence. The vile taste that coats his mouth turns into fiery metal as it goes down, and he gives an involuntary shudder. In the factuality of the confrontation, everything goes against his expectation. He feels the sweat on his palms and the shortening of breath and the racing of the heart. It's my story, you know, how I felt doing, you know, trip report, you could say, on the, on the crudest level. It's my first experience of the jungle. It's my first experience of living with the indigenous people. Then there's a story of the relationships of people I'm involved with, that all gets involved in the power politics of Yehe. And on top of that, there is this dimension of, you know, uh, spirit forces. I have a critical attitude to ayahuasca, but obviously I haven't been drinking for more than 20 years. I think for physical health, it's undoubtedly a marvel. Inbuilt psychiatrist, it's also very good. It gives you a very good awareness of yourself and your problem. For me, as a writer, the, the interesting about Yehe is the drama, the humor, the, the, the mystery. Uh, whether they're true or not doesn't matter, but they're very dramatic, colorful themes, and how is it going to throw that away? I'm not a healer. I never wanted to be a healer. I'm not a scientific expert on, I'm just a guy who's writing about it. And that's, uh, that's my contribution. But I'm trying to show the interaction of the outside world, reality, modern reality, and the inner, a very private inner mystical experience.